Now let's do the calyx for this. Okay. Now the next session, I'm going to show you the calyx to it. Yes, now I mix some green paste. So for the calyx, I'll just show you a quick, easy way to make this calyx. There's no need to be very thin or very thick for making the calyx. Just a medium way is more than enough. See, this, what I'm showing now, all these are very basic for beginners, okay? So if, if you want to do it at a very advanced level, then totally everything goes very different. Because we add a lot of character to the every single petal and every single detail we add into the calyx or the petals are totally for the flower. Okay, now I have this calyx. What I do is generally slowly I pinch and extend it. See this? Slowly I pinch here and extend it. You can do in all the places like this. Okay. All the five I have pinched like that and I have extended it. Uh, sorry for the colors which is in my hand. I tried to wash it with a quick wash. So, uh, I was not able to. I need a soap to do it. But I said let me do it later. So I just, it's for me more important to show you what exactly is all this about. Okay. After doing this, what I do is to give a character to it. Just give a cut. Not everything, in all the five, just in in between one or two of it. And I can give this also. Now after doing this, either you can ball them like this. Just give a nice twist of ball, so so it cups a bit. Okay, it cups a bit. You can do like this, and then apply the glue. Now we have a bud which has been made, right? The bud. So I'm going to use it for the bud. Okay, just bring it. Always what I do is I try to cover up wherever the openings are there. So in that place, I'll try to put my calyx. So it is not so much visible. Okay, now see the calyx has been done. Sometimes I just like to just bend them a bit and even move them a bit because they're not so perfect. As I told you, they should never be very perfect. After this calyx, like see this, the calyx is done. I've added a rose hip, a small rose hip here. So the same way I have done it on a, on the open rose also. Okay. I'll show you how to put the rose hips for this. Take a small ball. Okay. Just make it like a small pyramid kind of a thing. Apply the glue in the edges of this part. <coughs> now just enter this towards that. Okay, see this?
Yerosep is formed. Now I'm going to show you how to make the leaves. <coughs> the foliage is very important. Sorry for the voice because my voice today is not so good at its best. But still I'm showing you. Okay, I use the Allen Dunn's method. That's the easiest and it works great. Take a sausage first. Use a thin rolling pin. Just thin it. And then go up, press and release. Okay, go once again up, press and release. So you have a ridge here. So this ridge can be controlled by us. So this is one of the easiest method I have come across. So I use this method. So to make a roast stock, we need one big and two medium and two small. Okay. Or you can even add as one big, two medium is also fine. I'm just going to show you how to cut it now. The ridge should be three fourth of the petal or the leaf. Now take the wire, just directly enter under where your ridge is. Now use the vena, leaf vena. Give it a firm press. and squeeze in the center so it has some nice bends your leaf is ready hope you are able to see this the leaf is being joined this is how it is one big two medium so I've made two stalks of it like that so now I'm going to show you how to join them with the main flowers use a plier like this so whichever way your flower needs to be seen so bend accordingly hold it quick bend now I'm going to join one of the first let's tape off all the wires because the wires should never be visible so let me tape off the wires Now let's see which is the height, which is the height according to that. You need to, you need to just tape them off. Use a full tape, don't use a half tape, use a full tape and then tape them until the end. Huh? Don't leave it half the way until wherever the full. Now I'm going to, as I told you. I will tape this also as everything should be taped I'm going to take this also now how to place my bud that's more important so I'm going to show you how it can be the, the way is one I'm just giving you suggestions anyway Depends upon how you want it. I'm going to tape it like this. <clears throat> this is, I'm just going to join them together like this. When you're joining bigger buds and uh, leaves together, use a full tape. And when you're joining small, small, leaves and small small petals then join with half tape okay now this once again now 
need to join them like this. Yes, now you can see the full rows. This is for the beginners level as I told you before. That's the reason I have not used any petal dust for the leaves or the rows. As it is, it's marble rows like this. So there is no need to give uh, petal dust to it because this itself has a double shade in the edges. If you could see easily. has double shade okay hope you guys like this rose easy rose and hope you guys will do these kind of things this fantastically it works for beginners please try it and give me your views thank you